What's up everybody? We're back out on the job here today. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a different one today. We're installing some baseboard, but it's not your typical fin tube. This is what I grew up knowing it as Spirotherm. It's now known as Speed Heat, um, but it's basically a copper pipe with little copper wires wrapped around it. It provides more BTUs per foot than the standard fin tube does. Fin tube usually runs around 560 BTUs per foot of heat output. The spirotherm, depending on if you go with the half inch or three quarter inch tubing, puts out a little bit more. Here we're gonna be putting in the half inch, so I believe that's around 750 BTUs per foot. Um, the reason we're doing that is because what was originally taken out of here was a larger um, cast iron radiator. Uh, it was kind of too big and cumbersome for the space, so they opted to switch over to baseboard. Um, we need more baseboard than we have room for. Um, even with the spirotherm, the room is calling for around 14 feet. I can only put in nine. Luckily, they do have a heat pump on the other side of the room, which I don't think was originally there, so that will take up some of the BTU load as well. So I think when it's all said and done, the room should stay plenty warm, um, but I wanted to use this spirotherm just to give it that edge um, and get as much heat out of the space that we're gonna be installing baseboard into um, as possible. So without further ado, let's run up the stairs. Uh, it's up three flights of stairs. So um, let's uh, head up there and start installing this.
Okay, so that went pretty well. Um, it was a bit of a tight squeeze, uh, especially where the risers came up to get that enclosure behind it, but it, it ended up going in all right. Um, unfortunately, there was that one point, I don't know if you ended up picking up on it in the video, but when I uh, secured the enclosure to the wall, obviously the sheetrock was not fully seated against the, the stud and we had a uh, screw pop out there. So the carpenters have to go back there anyway. They'll probably end up, you know, I'll let them know and they'll probably end up just patching that over. And this was also a good showcase for uh, if you're installing new baseboard, you don't necessarily need to have the supply and the return at either end of the enclosure. Uh, you can get away with having more baseboard than the distance between your supply and return. You just have to run some either the supply side or the return side back through the enclosure. Also, I just wanted to show you a close up. Here is some of that spirotherm, um, a little piece that I ended up having to cut off. It's a little bit trickier to work with because when you do have to cut pieces, you have to desolder the wire from the tubing, but it does provide much greater uh, BTU output per foot, like I said. So, um, and it's kind of counterintuitive, but the half inch actually puts out more BTUs per foot than the three quarter inch. So that's why I'm using the half inch here. But as I said, everything went pretty smooth. That's in, it purged out. It was a little bit longer to purge because it was up on the third floor. So it was greater head pressure and took a little bit longer to come around, but all said and done, uh, it's putting out heat and they should be good to go for this winter. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like down below. Drop a comment if you have any questions or saw anything that you might do a little different. I always appreciate those. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. Have you join the team and uh, I'll see you on the next job. And just a special shout out to everyone in the United States and those of you around the world that might celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Um, I know I'm thankful that you're all on board here and, and watching these and supporting these videos. So uh, thank you for that. And I hope you have a great day today and stuff your bellies full.